Whether you say Z or Z, there's still lots to see what's inside the Z-Box, the mystery box made for geeks. It is time to open up yet another box of Z-Box. If you want one of the premier subscription boxes around, boxes made for geeks, you can click the link down below and subscribe today. We're gonna go ahead and get this opened up. I'm thinking to myself, I feel this would be the June box, but we'll know soon enough. This is riddled again with tons of labels, wables, and other things. I guess at least it arrives safe and sound. And one good thing is with this particular box, at least there was a seal on the front. I think there was a couple of instances in the past where sadly, no seal was protecting the contents from pillagers and pirates who wanted to plunder the contents. Luckily again, there's a seal on the front. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get this opened up. I'm super excited to see what we're gonna be getting inside. Lots of cool stuff that we've gotten in the past from Z-Box. This is my knife joining us along for this journey and epic unboxing. This is Chet Cuttington the third, a knife that's been gifted to me by producer Tony, who I'm looking up right now. Tony's sleeping in his chair. Good job, Tony, you're making your money. We're gonna go ahead and cut the seal on the front, and then we're gonna check out the contents going on inside, and again, based on maybe perhaps this unboxing, let's just say you're maybe new to the idea of subscription services. You wanna start somewhere, but you don't know where. Maybe this box and unboxing will help you along the lines, and you guys can base, of course, your decision, your purchase decision off of this. Gonna take out the packing pillows. I didn't really, I didn't walk you guys through the what I just did there, but I just took out some packing pillow, pillows. I'm sure nobody needs those. And let's see the contents we got going on inside. First thing we have is a t-shirt. Now, of course, Wonder Woman is gonna be eventually coming to theaters. What's the time for it now? August, September, September, November? Maybe it's even next year. Sadly, a lot of movies, just due to the pandemic right now currently, have to be sort of, of course, postponed. The plan should really be just to have each of the theater seats just encased in bubbles, like get smart. People could just talk amongst themselves that way. Um, holographic or energy force fields, something that you would have seen in Star Trek, would also be the case as well. But you gotta imagine movie tickets based on that. That technology isn't cheap, my friend. That money, that ticket cost will probably be like $5,000 to see a movie. And you hate to think that that movie would suck after the fact. But we do have ourselves a Wonder Woman t-shirt. It's not specifically from the second Wonder Woman. It's actually from the first one. As you can see there, it doesn't say 84 or anything like that. That's an interesting enough looking design. Of course, you've got the woman, Wonder Woman W in the middle done in gold, while the rest of it is all done in purple. It kind of looks like clock gears, although obviously it's not clock gears. It's sort of, you know, just decorative details. But it kind of looks like it's it's something that actually moves, like, a, like you, know, you know, the gears of a clock. Unless you have a digital clock, I mean, then, then those gears don't exist. Ah, uh, technology, eh? Always dating the stuff that you say in these reviews. Somebody's like, clock gears? What are you talking about? My phone doesn't have clock gears. Yes. Yes, your phone doesn't have clock gears. Let's see what else we have going on inside. We've got a Star Wars Medal of Yavin collector's pin badge. Well, I'm certainly intrigued. I'm going to peel that off. And let's open this up. It's got a magnet closure. That's I like that. You open it up, and inside is the pin. Now, we can pull the pin off. I just want to tell you, though, the straps along the top here, the part that would, of course, go around your neck, that's faux. That ain't real. I'm going to pull that off, and on the back is two very large pins. I don't know if I... I think I have to peel this off. I'm making a mess of this packaging. Peel this off, and the pins would be basically underneath that. You just pop those off. You could put that onto a denim jacket. Elephant in the room. No denim jacket has surfaced just yet. That's a nice metal uh, badge. Not that going like this is the indicator that's metal. It does feel certainly metal. It's cool to the touch. There it is right there. I probably didn't need to rip all this stuff off. Let's put this back where it belongs. Try to make this a little bit more professional. And that's what the, the pin looks like. It's a good hefty metal, I must say. On the back, it says uh, Lucasfilm. It says Tomato Source Limited. I'm intrigued to start looking at Tomato Source Limited. Apparently, they're not just growing vegetables. I still say a tomato is a vegetable. You can fight me if you want. Tomatoes are fruits? No. No, they're not. 
Then everything with a seed would basically be a fruit. Cucumbers, peppers. We gotta stop it somewhere. Let's stop the ridiculousness. Make a stand, if you will. My stand is saying a tomato is a vegetable. You can fight me again if you want. I'll be the one wearing a t-shirt that says tomatoes are vegetables. And then on the back it says dot, dot, dot. They're not fruits. See so what else we got going on in here. Something else, Star Wars. This is a Japur, is it Japur Snippet Necklace. Let's pull this out. I need both sides, a little tight, tight quarters. Open this up. There we go. Oh, it's like a mystery inside of a mystery. Every new thing I'm opening up reveals something else I have to open up inside. And there it is right there. Now, I would have to do a little bit of detective work on my part. My knowledge of Star Wars isn't enough to pull right off the top of my mind. Just suck that out and regurgitate it to you members. Um, I don't know what Japur is. I'm sure it prob I probably, again, could look that up. I'll look that up. But uh, it is obviously on a necklace. The chain, oh my, oh my. That's, that's become quite, quite entangled. Gonna have to spend a fair bit of time to untangle that. Maybe I'll hand that to producer Tony. He's always good at untangling knots. He's a lousy producer, and I can say that very confidently because he's fast asleep. But he's really good at untying knots. So I'll maybe give that to him. I'll say it to him, if, if he can untie it, he can have it. Yeah, that's gonna, I'm gonna be committing a lot of the rest of the day to have to do that. I'm gonna give that to producer Tony. It's good to give him projects. I feel like if I'm not giving him enough projects, he's really not doing anything. Case in point, the guy's sleeping in his chair right now. You haven't even seen his chair. A full-blown recliner with a side fridge. I feel it's unnecessary, especially if he's doing producing work, that he should be leaning forward. Reclining in a chair is really the last thing you want to be doing if you obviously want to be producing a show. Anyways, the guy's fast asleep. He's not even paying attention. And last but certainly not least, we've got ourselves Hogwarts. This is the Drago, Draco, Dormir's, Dormines, Naquam, Titillandus. I probably have said that completely wrong. This is a magnetic notebook and it opens like an envelope. Okay, well, I guess the first thing we have to do, we have to get this off. This is gonna prevent us from opening up said letter or en envelope. I'm gonna peel that off. And there's just a little bit of tape on the back there. On the back it says, Mr. H. Potter, the cupboard under the stairs, four privet drive, little winging Surrey. And if you open it up, oh, this is kind of clever. If you open it up, it actually does open like an envelope. And it opens on both sides. There you can see the printing on the inside. And you've got yourself a straight out notebook. Although the only thing about it though, is the way that they've got it, the notebook has to be held this way. I mean, you could throw caution to the wind and write against the lines instead of across the lines, because it doesn't look, it doesn't make sense to write your letters this way. It sort of tells you you have to write them this way. That's the only downside. Who writes a notebook like this? It almost sounds like, I, almost kind of looks like I'm handing somebody, uh, like if I'm writing something and somebody's on the other side and they're writing something, almost like I'm going to be doing some sort of contest board game. It's clever the way at least it closes, because like I said, there's that little magnet there, there's a magnet on the top, and it closes shut. Certainly for a fan of Harry Potter, I'm a moderate fan of Harry Potter. It's pretty neat the way that they've done that, although again, I feel like the lines should have perhaps gone the opposite way. Uh, other things inside this box are air, imagination, and hopes and dreams of children. While we did get everything else inside the box, we got ourselves a t-shirt, a Wonder Woman t-shirt. Got a couple of Star Wars things. Those are pretty interesting. I'm probably going to be giving this one to producer Tony. Give him something to do. And of course, we also got ourselves the Harry Potter uh, booklet, which is a Harry Potter notebook done like an envelope. Pretty neat the way that they've done that. Although, yeah, lines should have probably gone, gone the other way. If you guys certainly would like to subscribe to the Z-Box, you most definitely click the link down below in the video description. And also sort of while you're in that area, let's just say you're down in the basement, you got to grab yourself a can of tomato sauce. I mean, who doesn't? Make sure as well, if you're new to this channel, you hit that subscribe button down below and move your way on over to the bell notification. Didn't mean to surprise you there with my fingers. And turn that on so that when new videos are coming onto this channel, you won't be that individual that's missing out. There's going to be a lot of videos coming your way. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.